Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Time. Thank you for joining me once again for the sub Appalachian series. And today I'm coming to you live from Atlas Peak. Now where I'm standing right now is in this beautiful like boulder garden and I'm about 2,600 feet above sea level. Atlas Peak is one of the highest uh, elevation Appalachians in the entire Napa Valley. And it's about 11,400 um, acres the entire Appalachian, about 1,500 of those acres are planted to vine. And uh, what's mostly planted up here these days is Cabernet Sauvignon. Now, back in 1870, the first vines were planted up here on Atlas Peak. And the focus back then was Zinfandel, as much of the Napa Valley was at the time. Zinfandel was one of the most uh, prominent planted grapes, along with a few other Italian grape varieties and such. Um, but uh, after Prohibition and when they started to plant grapes up here into the, you know, 1970s, 1980s up here on Atlas Peak, the focus changed to Bordeaux grapes, in particular Cabernet Sauvignon, uh, like the rest of the valley as well. And today it's home to some really amazing wineries up here. Um, Hill Family, Kongsgard, um, Piero Antonori's Antica Winery is up here, uh, Asome. Uh, a few other really amazing wineries on Atlas Peak, but um, the wineries are not like in a contiguous pattern. They're all over and in different types of elevations and nooks and crannies of Atlas Peak. The soil up here, as you can see, is incredibly volcanic in nature. Um, from these stones, you can see that. We're on the very southern edge of the Vaca mountain range, which separates us from uh, Solano County on the other side, uh, in Vacaville and Fairfield over there. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful, rugged Appalachian. It's above the fog line, meaning that at night when the fog rolls in from the San Pablo Bay, Atlas Peak is above that, meaning that it's very cool climate and it's pretty windswept up here. Um, that cool climate leads, leads to a very even ripening pattern with the grapes. You have to remember too, when we're above the fog, that means in the morning time when the fog layer is still covering the rest of the Napa Valley floor, Atlas Peak is getting a lot of extra sunshine and it's also quite elevated at over 2,600 feet above sea level. And so the photosynthesis in the vineyard is pretty strong. Um, the grapes up here get, like I, I mentioned, a very uh, even ripening pattern and it's a longer growing season and they pick later than the valley floor up here on Atlas Peak. The wines have stunning acidity, grippy tannin, um, good ripeness being that most of the vineyards are planted on a western facing slope here on Atlas, getting a lot of the afternoon sun, so very rich developed flavors, but also a streamlined acid and really good mineral minerality characteristics, volcanic characteristics in the wines. Seek out Atlas Peak, come up here. It's one of the regions that is um, lesser known and not as visited, but really, really neat views and uh, beautiful climate and very kind of like rugged, rugged atmosphere. Anyways, thank you for joining me again here on the channel. Please click subscribe and uh, click on your notifications so you can see the next video in the series. Once again, thank you for joining. Cheers.